Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. You're cooking with Quilla on Team McClary Cooks. You guys, tonight is a ramen kind of night, so here's what I'll be making. I have some chicken, steak, and shrimp, along with some bok choy, some ramen broth, chicken broth, eggs, I have here some dried ramen and also some seaweed. The kind of steak I'm using is the beef round steak. I have some chicken tenderloins and also some jumbo shrimp. You guys, in the small silver bowl, that is the shrimp shells. We're gonna put that with the ramen and chicken broth, you guys, to bring out that shrimp flavor. You guys, let's get into it. You guys, the first thing I'm going to do is salt my water. Okay, this is for my boiled eggs. Gonna go in kind of hefty with the salt. Okay, you're gonna let these eggs boil for 12 minutes, none over. Okay, because you don't want your eggs to have that greenish yellow looking color around the edges. Okay, now the next thing we are going to do is season our meat. Okay, we're gonna season our meat, you guys, with just salt and pepper. We're gonna keep it plain, we're gonna keep it simple. Okay. Let's go ahead and get these down here. There go the salt and pepper. Alright, let's go with that pepper first, you guys. Let's go in there just like so. We're going all on the top, alright? Then we're going to go in with the salt. Just like that. Okay. And the same thing, I'm going to do it with the steak. I'm going to put that on the side, you guys. I will come back and make the seasonings on there in just a few moments. Okay? Let's go in with our salt and pepper as well on our steak. We're going to on top of both of them, just like so. We're going to go in kind of heavy, like I stated, because we're going to keep putting this over. I got two steaks to season. There goes the pepper, you guys. Alright. I'm going to pat that thing in. And on raw steak, you guys, you want to have a good bit of salt so that you'll be able to have flavor on your steak. Okay? Let's pull that one over. Alright. Alright, you guys. Let's pull that salt You guys want to make sure that your meat is at room temperature. I just lost a piece. Alright, let's get this season up on the other side as well. We have our steaks seasoned. Okay. Now it's time to mix up that seasoning onto our chicken just like so. That will give it that beautiful golden color. Let's put some on the chicken as well. Getting those shrimp seasoned up just like so. Let's show you how they look. You guys, this is how the shrimp is looking. Look at that. Yes. When we get our chicken rolled into that saison, you guys, it's going to give it a beautiful color. Okay. Let's give you a close up on the chicken as well. The only thing I'm not going to put saison on is the steak. We're going to put that just with the salt and pepper. You guys, before we go down in our grilling pan with our oil, I am going to go ahead and put in my ramen and my chicken broth. That way they'll be heating while I'm cooking my meat, okay? We're going in with the chicken broth. Now that we have all three cartons of our broth into our pot, 
All right, you guys, I'm gonna go in with the shrimp shells because I want that extra flavor, okay? It is time to get the party started with these chicken tenderloins in this pan. Let's go on ahead and put them down just like that. You wanna hear that sear as you're putting your meat down? Oh yeah, that is the sear you want to hear, okay? Look at that, ooh, that's gonna cook up real good. We're gonna let those cook, you guys, and when they finish cooking, we will start with the next round of meat. All right, guys, it's now time to take our chicken out, okay? I have a plate here that I'll be sitting all my cooked meat on, as well as shrimp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is looking really good. Let's take that out. Mm -hmm. Off camera, you guys, I went ahead and I cut up my steak just like this. Okay. Well, that one didn't come all the way apart. Excuse you. Go ahead and put it in there just like so. Oh, yeah. I am loving the sound of this, all right? Going in there with the rest of that steak. Try not to crowd your pan because you want this to basically sear and not steam. It's time to flip these babies over, you guys. Let's see how they look. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. You do not want to cook these babies so well done because you'll be chewing on some cardboard, okay? You don't want a tough piece of steak. So I'm going to let that cook for about two or three minutes on that side, you guys. And I will be taking them out and putting in the next batch. All right, you guys, I've taken my steak out. Let's go ahead and shove the next batch in there. Going to put them in there just like so. Then we're going to separate them when we get in the pan. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Got one that's standing up here on the side. And now we got them all laying down. We're waiting for these babies to cook up. And next up is our shrimp. Okay, you guys, as you can tell, I am flipping them over. Again, not cooking them all the way because you don't want to be chewing on tough meat, okay? I'm gonna flip them over, let them get that heat on them for about a minute or so, and then I'll be taking them out, put them on the pan, on the plate. Excuse me, I'm tongue tied today like a mug, you guys. All right, you guys, I'm gonna take that out. You guys see that? No more pink on the bottom. And I have a plate here that I'm putting all these lovely chunks of steak on. I'm trying not to squeeze them, you guys, because I do not want to squeeze all of the juice out of them, okay? You gotta keep some of that lovely juice inside of the steak, okay? Next up is our shrimp, you guys, and we're not gonna go in here pretty and cute. Bang, we're gonna just throw them in there just like so. Look at that, oh my goodness, I can't wait. Uh huh. Oh, I see a piece of shell. We got you out of there, girl. All right, you guys know, will know when your shrimp is done because it will turn an opaque pink. It only takes two to four minutes to cook shrimp, you guys, so don't overcook them. You guys, we are in the process of flipping these babies over, and don't they look beautiful? Man, look here. I'm ready to eat now. That means I gotta put a move on it, okay? Let's get this shrimp flip just like so. Ooh, ooh. Yes. I'm gonna let that cook for about a minute or so on this side, and you guys, we are taking those babies out and putting them with our shrimp and chicken. Look at all that yummy goodness right here on that plate. Man, you better ask somebody. All right, guys, clearly you can tell I'm playing do -si do on the stove with my pots. I'm going to take this lid off here, and we're going to get started. 
taking out those shrimp shells. All right. I have a bowl here to put them in once I fish them all out. Look at that. We are getting them all out, baby. That is it. Let's see. Oh, no, we got another one. All right, you guys, now that we have all of our shrimp shells out of there, you guys, I have here some shrimp seasoning. Let's go ahead and dump that baby in there just like so. Yep, just like that. We're gonna give her a quick stir. Man, I wish y'all could smell this. This thing smells amazing. All right, now that we have our seasoning stir around into our broth, you guys, I have been proactive. I have washed and cut up our bok choy just like so. And the next thing I'm gonna do, go ahead down in there with it. Oh, my goodness. Not only am I going in with the bok choy, you guys, I am going to put in our seaweed as well. Try not to use the flavored seaweed, just the roasted salted one, okay? Let's go ahead and get that seaweed down in there just like so. And you guys, did I show you that lovely meat platter? Look at that. Oh my God. All right, we got this seaweed here just like so. You can tear it up and put it in there whatever way you want to. All right, now what we're going to do is give that another stir to get that seaweed down in that broth along with that bok choy. Okay? You would stick to my spoon, wouldn't you? All right, you guys, we got that to going. Not only are we sticking that in there, you guys, we are going in with the ramen itself. I have six blocks of ramen, you guys, that's going in here. That's a lot of noodles. We're gonna take our spoon and try to push them down to the bottom as best as we can. All right, you guys, so I'm going to put the lid on this until our noodles are cooked. We will have the lid on it for about 10, 15 minutes, you guys, and in that time, we will be back. You guys, it is that time. It is time to go ahead and assemble our ramen bowls, okay? I have here a noodle spoon as well as a ladle, okay? Let's go on ahead and get our noodles and our bok choy and all that yummy seaweed out of here. Let's go in there just like so in this bowl. Alright, let's get some more of that in there, you guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're going with our noodles first. And you guys, I will dip out the broth right after it, okay now we got that in there just like so let's go in here with some more you guys look at that oh my goodness can y'all tell i'm ready to eat yep all of that delicious bone broth shrimp broth oh my goodness We're gonna assemble these babies up real nice. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. All right, now for the broth. We are gonna take our ladle just like so, you guys. Get some of that broth out of there. Now, if I was doing this for someone else, I would put the broth in a separate container, okay? Let's get that broth in there just like that. Ooh. Guys, I'm ready. I'm ready. So is my dog. She's in another room and I can still hear her. Alright, let's go ahead and put that in there just like so. Get all 
know that you know you're blocking it just like that. Okay. Now that we have our ramen and our broth in our bowl, you guys, let's go ahead and assemble this baby with some boiled eggs, just like so. Okay, let's put some eggs up in that baby. And believe it or not, you guys, ramen and boiled eggs, oh my goodness, they're bomb together, okay? Now, let's get our chicken in there just like so. And you guys, I have already pre-cut our chicken. Look at that. That assemble is coming up beautiful. Okay. Let's go in with some steak and shrimp. Let's go in with some pieces just like so. Let's go right here on this side. I may even put another chunk of chicken on there. Okay, you guys, since this is my husband's plate, I'm going to load that baby up with some steak. Okay? Let's go ahead just like so. We got some shrimp on there as well. Look at that. Let's put some shrimp down on that bowl just like so. Oh! Shrimp, baby. Just like so on that one as well. I gotta make sure I save a shrimp or two for my little girl because she loves shrimp as well. Oh, this assembly is going exactly like I want. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Let's get that in there. Let's go on with about one more chunk of steak. And there is one other thing that I want to put on here. So you guys, I will be right back. You guys, I'm going to go down in there with some green onions. Just like this. Oh my goodness, one want to fly out, but guess what, it's okay. Because we got all the other yummy goodness. Look at that. It's going in there just like that. Got a little piece of onion because I want to be fancy. Boom. Just like that. And I'm going to stick another one right there, you guys. And the last thing that I did not mention to put on my noodle bowls is some black sesame seed, okay? We're gonna go down on it just like so. In that manner. It's going in there just like that. Man, y'all better ask somebody. I do more than soul food. Boom. Let's go ahead and get you a closer look. You guys, look at that yummy goodness right there. I am ready to get into it. So if you like what I've done, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you'll know when I'm back in the kitchen. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye. But I'm from a city that's high school. I give them the cinema I go. Uh, Cause you are right now.